happening an emotional energy monitor okay or a toy that changes color and emotion depending on the level of electricity used in a household <clears throat> so we're looking at sustainability in the household in the home uh, for children for adults um, children who use uh, computers iPads you name it um, and we're looking at monitoring the amount of energy used in that environment so what I'm going to do I'm going to start off with designing a profile now I've already made a card model and the, with a card model um, I've got the the height the length the diameters the distances and the profile so I'm going to start building that now so I start sketching so I create sketch I'd like to build it on the front work plane on the front work plane so what I'm going to do first is put my line from the central axis to a height of I got 50 85 85 140 150 millimeters so the product is 150 millimeters long after measuring after measuring the my hand using ergonomics I'm able I'm able to determine the size of my product so the top diameter up here I worked out to be 30 30 millimeters okay <clears throat> and I'm happy with that the bottom if I go down here was about five millimeters so I just draw that line on there I've got another line at a height of 50 and what I tend to do is draw my height of 50 and my profile 40 draw another line another line 10 20 30 40 to here click OK and I've got another line at 85 so I go here to 85 zoom in 85 with a just zoom into the center with a length of 35 just find 35 35 I have another line which is another curve another curvature at the top which is at 30 so it's 85 plus 30 so I draw another line here so 85 plus 30 is 115 and then that will go out to my outer diameter which is just zoom in get another line sketch so again so from that point there I'm going out to 40 so I think we can see what the profile is going to do. It's going to curve around there and then literally lick into the blend into the bottom. Okay, so I click on right there. Then I have to trim some of my unwanted construction lines. I don't need that anymore. Um, I don't need that. I don't need that. I don't need that. I don't need that. That's it. So then what I tend to do, I get a. Um, I can get a line or a curve. So I go one, two. Yeah, it's okay. And I get another curve. And we do do this in stages. So from that point there, I'm going there. Okay, see I'm blending in slightly. Okay. And I put another curve. We can iron these out later. Okay. Good and I have another curve from here down to this point now and I want it to sort of blend outwards at that sort of point there and that will probably work in well good so get an idea of the profile it looks a bit 
complicated at the moment. But now I've got to trim the internal sketches. Get rid of those because you cannot extrude with the internal sketches. So one, two, three. This is five minutes so far. That's not bad. Okay, good. And there's one morning. Did I draw two lines or one line? No. Do it again. It's always good to check that. Good. Okay. I'm happy with that now. Good. <clears throat> so now I'm going to create a revolve. So I've been asked to select the profile. And I've been asked to select the axes. So what I tend to do, just go into there. It's this axis here. And that's it. So I click OK. You can see now my product. There it is. Great. At the moment, that's that's got to fit in your hand. OK. But I would say, and you would agree, that this profile at the moment is just a round, circular shape. And we're going to have to trim and cut out part of it to make it aesthetically pleasing for the user. We've also got to include a digital screen, a readout, and I'm going to show you next how we sculpt that out. Ah, welcome back to uh, Force Doctor. We're now going to create another sketch, and we're going to do it on this plane here. Excellent. And I'm going to cut out my curvature. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go for my curve, and I'm going to go from a central point here, here. That's all right. Okay. And I'm going to sketch another spline from here down to here. Let's curve it out again. That's zoom in, have a look at that. Okay. Let's go ahead and do. Didn't quite like that. Let's try that again. This happens from time to time if you're not concentrating. Like ah, oh, that's better. Right. Okay, so I want that. I'm going to put a center line in there. One, two. Okay. And then I'm going to sketch a mirror of that line. So one, two. Yep, and I want to mirror that about that point there. So it's going to look like a teardrop sort of shape. That will fit my hand very nicely. Great. Happy with that. So I'm going to click OK. So I trim trim the internal reference point. Just make sure there's nothing else in there. Oh, there were two. There you go. Always double check on that. Um, and then I'm going to sketch just an outside portion there. And there. And click OK. And I'm going to do the same. Sketch an outside portion from there to there to there and that's all going to be cut out so I click OK and you know as well as I do these two lines need to be trimmed don't they okay so what I could do I don't know yep that will go there that will go there and that will cut out as well excellent so I'm happy with that I've selected my area what I'd like to do is cut out that section. So I go Create Extrusion. So I select one, two, and just that triangle there, three. All I want to do is cut it. And what I tend to do is go symmetrical, like in all my other drawings, and that way you can see it being cut out. Now the beauty of that, I've now got the ability to put a screen on here. Okay, I've now got the ability to put a screen on there, and you can see it fits the hand a bit better. But there's one other thing I'd be looking at. And that would be some curvatures, um, switches. All right. So I will do that in the next operation. Right. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Now I want to look at putting a screen onto the front, a display screen, which is my digital readout for my monitor. I can look at rounding these edges later. Let's get the screen on first. Okay, so I'm going to sketch, create a sketch. I want it on the center work plane. There it is. So I'm going to draw my usual method 
Everything starts with the center line. If you don't, forget it. Okay, good, happy. And I want, uh, let's have a look at another, I want a curved screen on the top that blends down into another curve. So again, I'm going to go from here to here. And let's have a, let's have a close look at that. I don't, uh, I don't like that too much. Yeah, I don't like that at all. So I'm going to click cancel. If you don't like something, go back. And I'm glad I'm doing this live because <coughs> let's try it again. Because I want, I want my curve. That's what I wanted. That's what I want. So the curve, it's just like a gentle curve on the top. Just click OK. I am happy with that. That's it. Then the next curve, I wanted to come down and sort of wrap around here to a central point. So I do the same again. I get another curve from here to here. And you can see, oh yes, that's it. Good. And just to finish that off, I would just do a straight line to my central, central axis. It picks it up, 180. Excellent. Yep, that's my screen. Usual. Next thing. I'd like to mirror. Okay, so I select my mirror lines. Three. I select, sorry, my outer lines, my objects that I'm mirroring, sorry, and my center line. There's my screen. Great. What I need to do is trim that line away again. If you don't, it won't extrude. Okay. Let's have a look now. Just manipulate my model. Good. And again, that's gone from the central work plane. What I'm going to do now is create an extrusion. So I want this, and I want this portion. This portion. Let's go into the viewpoint, and you can see now I don't want to cut, I just want to join. Okay. Now you can see my screen coming out, just popping out of the product. 30 is too high. Let's try 28. That's it. So it just comes out of the screen. Yeah. Got it? Happy? Excellent. So now we've got our screen in place. So from that point now, I can put a, an image on there. I can put some buttons on there. But what I'm going to do is start sculpting and filleting my edges. So one, two, five. Now a bit smaller. I want a bit more. Let's go for, let's go for eight. A bit more. Ten. Excellent. I want that. So I want a bit of a flat on the top there so I can then build circles and switches on there. Okay. Yeah, happy with that. So next I want to modify fillet. How are we doing for time? 13 minutes. I'm going to have to stop in a minute. One, two, three, four. So that fillet can be one millimeter. Yeah, that looks nice. And I'll just do the outer one and then I'm going to pull, I'm going to stop. So then modify, fill it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let me just turn that around. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Actually, it's eleven. They are. There we go. There we go. There we go. Let's have a check of that now. Is that everything? Yeah, you just twist the model around. Oh, that I've missed one there and one there. So 16. That's telling me that's right. Let's try 3 mil. Too small. Let's try 5. Let's try 8. Yeah, that's just touching. Perfect. So there's my model. Okay. So what I'm going to do there, I'm going to 